Welcome back, everybody. I've decided that instead of modeling the entire uh, Fortnite computer, how about we just make some panels and move on to something else that's kind of cool? Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's bring in a plane here. Rotate X90. Let's scale it right up. And we'll make something cool here. Control R to put an edge loop in here. Let's pull that out to about about here. And control B to split it. We'll give ourselves some room in here. Like this. Let's get rid of that face. So we can have a couple of panels here. And let's select all those vertices and shift control B. And we'll round these off. Three, four, five. Let's do it like this. So we can get some nice panels going on here. And then we'll make some cuts in here. Let's go into edit mode. Press K for the knife tool. And click and press C to constrain it. And come to the other side and F. Or space bar. Let's do another one. It doesn't have to be the exact same size. Click. So now we have edges and let's do one more down here. A little bit off from that side. Come down like that. Press 2 for edge selection. Shift Alt and click these or just shift and click. And let's go control B and pull the roll mouse back to zero. So we have that. And let's just extrude those back. Like that. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit too far. Just so that we can see inside there. Now we have some something. those as our panels and if I really wanted to what I could do select these faces here delete those Let's see if we add solidify to that. Let's try that and let's try a bevel. Just so that we see the side of it a little bit. And maybe we'll even um, apply the solidify. And get rid of some of these back faces. Just so we have the edges. we use that and then what I was thinking we could do is just start building something up with that so for example I'm not going to need that one I'll take this G to grab just pull that S to scale Hold down shift, pull that in, say we have one there, shift D will duplicate it and pull it to that side for the 
this top panel and then let's take these let's come in and actually let's go ahead and apply that mirror on that mirror all right let's come in here and just select a piece of that and go control l to select everything linked and shift d to duplicate it and p to break it out so we have just that let's scale that down and make a bolt out of it okay g will pull it up to there make sure we make contact and place it there shift d there select that control l shift d to duplicate pull it over to here Okay, shift D to duplicate, pull down here. And then grab this one, control L, pull it down here. Grab both of them, control L and shift D. And we'll move them over here. Okay, so we got some bolts in there like that and then what we could do is start moving stuff around okay we'll take this guy here G scale it down put that somewhere in there these guys maybe we'll go in and scale these a little bit smaller control L shift D drag another one out Rotate that in the Y. Okay, so we got those in there. Let's put this in there. We can try to snap this to the face, Let's see how well it works. Let's do something else with this thing here. Shift D and G, let's bring that out. P to break it out. Let's take this and let's do this. inset and scale it in scale that in the Z and then we're going to extrude it in we're going to make this a lot smaller now let's go into wireframe and box select hold it I want to make it a lot narrower as well
then what I need to do, Shift D, and then make it a bit smaller. Shift D, and a bit smaller. And just position these. Shift D, rotate Y, 180. This one. Let's try snapping. On this one. Sinks in a little bit. Okay, let's take these again. the orientation a bit. Let's take this. Now this one, I'm going to extend the back here. one up. Take this one and move it to another position like that. Snapping this on. We'll duplicate it and maybe we'll array it.
snapping that one. I wonder if we took one of these and turned it sideways, put it there. Let's see what that would look like. Just to try it. Let's rotate Y90. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it might. I feel like I need something down there. I wonder if I can use some of this with this thing again. I feel like I need one more different type of piece of shit D and G. to uh, we'll rotate Y180, how well would it fit? It's off a little bit. We'll just do that for, for a few of these. You get the idea. And there we have our our panels. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now and uh, move on to another project. So I didn't end up modeling the entire computer. I decided that uh, I would leave it at these panels. And I think that's good enough for now. So thanks very much for watching the series. Um, and uh, we'll try something new.